Hi guys, hello YouTube. Uh, it's been the end to a really quite challenging day for myself and now. Uh, we both trained extremely hard and we're now sat here having our thingy yogurt, protein yogurt. Mm. We've got some uh, granola in it. Can I just ask what's <laughs> granola? Uh, granola is a, a very common product that you can buy in any major shop or store. That people might know as granola. Uh, apparently it's called granola. I've done the uh, one rep with three plates on each side. And you're up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Well done. I'm so well done. That's what I say to you when you do stuff. I mean, Dad, I say well done. You could say well done instead of no, you didn't. What are you doing today, mummy? Bought some new ornaments. I've ironed. I've picked my mar up. I've done 8,992 8, steps. Oh, go, Sal. High five for you. It's not. Come around here. We could do. I could call a video like. <laughs> Hello. Meet the Wilsons. Still got makeup on. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> well, no, why? Because not any spots are out. Oh, yeah. I actually like it. I'd just girls, like to tell girls, uh, really nice YouTube well. that Niall doesn't know how to shave with a razor. He's got a, what have we got? An electric razor, and all the hairs that falls off, he leaves in the sink. And then, so when I go to get showered, I think oh, he's done it again. And I try to clean them off, and they're all stuck to the side of the bowl. Why do you? Don't laugh. I'm don't just telling like YouTube electric. about what it's like to be a parent. It's just my job is to be a parent. My electric razor, like, it eats the hair up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it really don't because it's, it's all it's it's No, sick. because when it's in the sink, I, it's because I give it a shake. Well, why do you do it in the sink? Why do you do it in the bin or something? Talk about that what? Uh, being my parent. What's it like? Oh. It's been a roller coaster of a journey, hasn't it? From when you were young to like to now. Being a parent is people. Ninety-nine people out of a hundred say to me, "You must be really proud." I don't know. What, I don't know if they don't know what to say, or but most people genuinely mean it. You must be really proud. So that's what they say to me, and I, I always say, "Yeah, I am." But yeah, I am proud of you. But it's been tough because we had. You know, you talk about sacrifice. We had to take you to gym three times a week, four times a week, five times a week. We had to arrange our whole life around, you know, getting you to... Well, all right, Sally did it. I didn't. Getting you to gym. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you was to give... See if any parents of gym, current gymnasts were listening to this vlog. If you were to give them a word of advice, what would that be? Just, just one bit of advice. One bit of advice? You just got. To you can't tell them. people. You can't tell people how to be a parent, can you? I just don't. I think that's completely the wrong thing no. to do. You, you know, I have brought you and Joanna up, and you know, Sally and I, in the way that we we thought was the best keep way. Learning as well, don't well you? yeah, you keep learning, you keep developing. You make mistakes every single day. I think one of the big words is commitment. So you, you know, we we have we had to commit to what you and Joanna were doing as much as you did. It'd be, it would be hard because I, I, I could write a, a list of what I think, but you know, everybody's individual and each parent feels exactly the same way that I feel about you. You know, the love is unconditional. But my, if I was to just write down one thing, that would be to just be your parent. I just try to be your dad. I don't cross any of these boundaries that are coaching, physio, British gymnastics, you know, all the celebrity stuff, stuff. Yeah. I just kind of just be your dad and love you. What did I text you today? I love you so much. <laughs> you are you in supper? <laughs> <laughs> you also oh, do you remember? Do you remember when I said I said to you we were in the, driving in the car, we played golf, and on the way back I was we were driving up the road, and I said to you, Niall, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, and you and you said, yeah, but what's the but? You know, because it's like you, you kind of start it with I'm really proud of you and then finish it off with but, but I want you to do this, however you've done that. Me, I'm really proud of you, but can you empty dishwasher type thing? Yeah, yeah but I, I, what I, I've always tried to do is say, yeah, I am really proud of you because I am really proud of you. Leave it at that. That's the good that's nice. really proud of me? You are. Do you know what else you did today about them texting that I love you so much? What? You left a plastic duck outside the house to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> and you ne you'll never know what's, you'll never know what the journey's going to be like, will you? You never know what's at the 
bottom of the rainbow. No. All right, Sally, you come in. You come no, and sit you come, here. No, come, come and sit here and tell what it was like to be Niles. To go. So, Ma. No. If you could say one thing to potential parents of gymnasts watching, obviously you don't you don't want to tell anyone how to be a parent, but like through your experience, what would what would one bit of advice be? It's very difficult to give one piece of advice. You, in the same way as a gymnast does, you need to persevere. Persevere. Keep taking them. I never ever said. I can't be bothered tonight, even though quite often Where are you, I couldn't be bothered tonight. You, you once said, well, I was once taking you and you saw a friend, three lads sat on a wall down Farsley and you went, if I didn't have to go to gym, I'd be sat there with them. And I said, no, you wouldn't. If you hadn't loved going to gym, you wouldn't have been roaming the streets. You used to say to me, your friend, your, your primary school friend, Luke, you used to say you would like to do what Luke did. Yeah, we used to go on school. Playing on his PlayStation or going to the park or whatever. I used to say I'd put money on the fact he would love to do what you do. Yeah, but the R thing was just... <laughs> You're not right, you. Don't you know about being a granddad? <laughs> you should give him a ball of beer every morning. <laughs> five nights a week, you get home from school and go to the gym for four hours, like five till nine o'clock. You love gymnastics, don't you? But challenging things to say to a, a nine, 10, 11 year old that you've got to just continue doing that. And it's like, back then you don't really get it. Never had to do that though, did I? No, no, but, but I'm, when, I think the key is if... like, there is going to be times when you want to quit. Like I did, I'm sure at one point I said, I don't, I want to stop. I want to quit. Well, that's the one time. I don't think you ever said you wanted to quit. You said a few nights on the bounce, you didn't want to go. Your dad would talk you through. I mean, it was never just going to be, all right, Niall. Because at the end of the day, you reach a stage where you've invested so much of your life. He told me one night he didn't want to go. Do you remember it? That's what I'm saying. He didn't want to go. He didn't say he wanted to quit. I never ever remember him saying he no, wanted to quit. No, he never said you wanted to quit. You told me one night you didn't want to go. You wanted to go play cricket. You might have thought it. Eh? Yeah, it's that, that when you're that when you're young like that. That's what you don't get. It's just like, oh, I just want to have one night off. I just want to go play cricket with my friends. But you know what? Big, do you know what a big driver for me was? I didn't. I didn't want to have this conversation with you now in front of a camera, YouTube. <laughs> you being 20 years old and say to me and you, you, your mum, saying to the both of us, why didn't you take me to gymnastics when I was 12 years old? I wish you would have taken me. I wish you would have taken me. I wish you did. And that was the big driver for us, particularly me that night when you wanted to go play cricket. I, I didn't want to have a conversation when you're older that was different to the one now. You got to focus on the journey and enjoying the journey. Oh, absolutely. The the, yeah. The, the the next competition, the next routine, the next training session. You can only just take it. What we used to do was just take it one training session at a time, focus on. So all. So if you think about when you were 10, 11, 12, 13, and through the injuries, all your goals were short-term goals, weren't they? Yeah. That were stepping stones you know, the, to the dream. bigger things. Yeah, the like dreams. See, the dreams of being Olympian, like I'd, I'd written it on stone when I was seven years old. Yeah, the, the, dream, the dream was Olympics, the, the goals were stepping stones, and the stepping stones were literally each se your session on a Tuesday night, your three yeah. hours on the Thursday night, each the skill, next competition, the next result. new skill. You know, I remember being on my first squad and like splitters into groups and it was obvious who was the top best group and I was like near the bottom. Yep. And that's something to take away that, you know, it's not always about being the best all the time. Like I say, it's just a progressive oh, journey. Okay. And finding the desire, being hungry to always grow and improve. I agree, but you know, but and, and growing as a person, you know, that's the most important thing, isn't it? And think about all the mistakes you made as well along the way and making sure that you you learn from them, and we, you know, all at the same time, as did me and your mum, we were making mistakes all the time, we were getting it wrong. Some were making wrong mistakes than others. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, mm. but you can now learn from your own mistakes, but if you're smart enough, learn from other people's first before you make the Absolutely. same mistake, like you, then, you know, everyone listens to this video or whatever, whether it's interesting or not, you can learn from what I've done and the mistakes I've made 
before you even cross, you know, before you even approach that. Absolutely. Look what you're dishing, dishwashing now now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that happen? Yeah, I need to go play cod.